It's not new that sodas are not a healthy thing to drink. That's for sure. Whether they're with high fructose corn syrup, sweetening them, or whether they're diet sodas, none of them are healthy. And now, the latest news is that strokes can be caused by drinking these drinks, whether they're sugary or not sugary. Right, so the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition came out with a study in April of 2012 showing that if you had either a sugary drink or you had a, a low-cal uh, drink, uh, it's still linked to stroke, and one sugary drink a day increased the risk of hypertension, of cholesterol, uh, uh, and was associated with people who didn't do much exercise, and people who tended to have a diet that was not so healthy because it included a lot of red meat and dairy. Not that that in itself is a bad idea, but these are the people who generally were, were the ones that were using these soft drinks. So maybe the type of people that drink soft drinks aren't paying much attention to their diet overall. That's right. Well, they tend to like fast foods, all right, and they tend to like their their sodas. But the other thing is, is that then there are people that are drinking the diet sodas, and they're drinking those because they think that it's going to be well, a healthier way to go because they're not going to get all the calories. However, exactly. we know that artificial sweeteners increase your appetite, and people that drink the diet drinks are having the same problems. Right, so what we're probably looking at here as a mechanism is related to metabolic syndrome. Actually, the artificially sweetened ones might even be worse. They could be, there are people who theorize that, but the, the real answer is what kind of associations do we find in studies like this one? And when you see that there's an association of people having either the sugary drink or the artificially sweetened one, and it still does the same thing, which by the way, we also found with people who have uh, a coronary artery problems. If you drink either a low-cal drink with artificial sweeteners or you have one that has high fructose corn syrup or even sugar, you know, sucrose, your risk for having a heart attack goes up substantially. I think it even increases the risk of gout, right? Of gout, of, of your cholesterol going up, of hypertension, of type 2 diabetes, and certainly has a lot to do with the, the, the epidemic of, of obesity that we're seeing. And you know, you don't want to take diabetes lightly because diabetes oh. can lead to all these things too. Well, it may be the mechanism that gets you there. So probably the metabolic syndrome is that's likely the mechanism if this study is correct and it looks and there's no reason to think that it's not. It's kind of interesting to note that coffee has the reverse effect and who knows why it's that way. It's sort of like doing an outcome study. You find out that people drink a lot of coffee seems to have fewer strokes. Maybe it's because of the antioxidants or it's because of the lignans or the magnesium that's in it. Nobody really knows. It's interesting because some people, instead of drinking coffee in the morning, they go for a soft drink I know. to I, get their caffeine. So I maybe know. it's better to go to the, for the coffee for the caffeine. I know. I have to admit, when I was in my younger years, I did that. When I wasn't into nutrition at all, it was before the days of enlightenment when I realized how important nutrition is. And now, of course, if I have one soft drink a year, that's a lot for me. But you know, when they were saying that coffee decreased the risk of stroke, uh -huh. it was also decaf. So it was both. Both ways, yeah. So it's not the caffeine. Right. That's a good point. All right. So when we're looking at, at our diets and our lifestyles, those are the most important things to determine whether or not we're going to have... Uh, a life that's full of vitality and we're going to and, and enjoy good health. Soda shouldn't be a part of that. All this business of sugar is something we're starting to realize is just as important as every other aspect of what we eat. And we've tended to blame everything on fat. And of course, the wrong fats are lethal. There are fats that heal and fats that kill. But in the case of, of carbohydrates, unless you're exercising and burning that off right after you consume it, chances are it's going to turn to fat and it's going to do a lot of things that are going to make your health not so good in the years to come. <music>